Well, busy day on the hardwood tonight. The high school basketball playoffs have begun for the girls. Who's moving on and whose season came to an end? We're going to start with Class 5A. The Cañotillo Eagles hosting the Burgess Mustangs. In the first quarter here, the Eagles on the move. This is with the baseline, Jay gets that friendly bounce there. Burge is going to answer right back. This is a long range three by Priscilla Diaz. That's Curry level right there. But the Eagles were district champs for a reason. Alisa, Alyssa Bonilla banks in the floater. This game would go into overtime, and that's as close as you can get right there. The Eagles with the one point victory over the Mustangs, 66 to 65, the final. Andres hosting Del Valle in the fourth quarter here. Del Valle's. Adrian Alvarez for the trifecta, perfecto. But Andres controlled this game from the get-go. Aliana Colon gets the bucket to go, and then it's Colon again. This time it's a corner three. And she's like, yeah, you like that? You know it. I do know this, though. The Andres Eagles are moving on by district champs. Final score, 58 to 37. Congrats also to the Hanks Knights. They defeated El Paso High tonight by a final of 60 to 41. I see Stephanie shake, shaking her head there, nodding her head. She loves that. Now, we tried to get highlights of this one, but nobody at the school would let Nate into the building. I had a hard time getting into Hanks a few weeks back, so I know the problems there. The janitor had to let me into that one, so it's like trying to get into Fort Knox at Hanks. Sorry about that, but Nate's hands got tired from banging on the door so much he had to leave. And he had Where to, was he? he <laughs> and he had to do the, his report on Terry and everything. So turning to Class 4A, the San Elizario Eagles are by district champions. They got the dub over Andrews, 43-33. to Unfortunately, the season for the Riverside Rangers came to an end. Riverside falls to the other Rangers from Greenwood, 67-45 to the final. Clint's season is also over. Seminole puts up 100 points over the Lions, 56 and in the Battle of the Lobos, one with an E, the other without. That's not a typo. That's the way they spell it. It's Mountain View with a statement win over Monahans, 52 to 28. In 3A, Tornillo lost to Mulshu, 60 to 48. Now in Class 6A, Franklin was supposed to host Midland League tonight, but due to weather conditions in the Midland area, their team was unable to travel, so that game was postponed.